Now good morning from um, what's this place called? Jules Cave, I think. Anyway, we've come up here from Augusta this morning. Stayed in Augusta last night. That was a bust because it was pouring rain all day and all night. So, can't control the weather, so we just um, bunkered down inside and had a Netflix day. We got some serious binging of the crown completed. So now we're, we're packed up there, left, and we're at um, Jewel Cave, I think it's called. Jewel's Cave. Jewel's Cave. <laughs> Not this thing, is it? Yeah. So, Jewel's Cave it is. And then we're going to go and see some stingrays, hopefully in Hamlin Bay, before we head up to Margaret River this afternoon. Jewel Cave. Anyway, yep, just talking about how blinded I am because it's so dark in the cave. This way. Oh god. And then they did this pitch black moment which was pretty cool and scary and yeah, your mind thinks you're, you forget where you are and all that jazz. But anyway, that was a cool tour. Cool, cool. It was like being in an ice castle for crystal stripping down. Oh Jesus. Then you go up these stairs, which is worse than ship stairs, so yeah. But definitely recommended. Yeah, we've come to Hamlin Bay because this is the spot if you want to spot stingrays. Uh, have a stingray encounter. They come right up into the, the shallow water and have a feed and this is where you're supposed to be the spot to come and see them. But we've seen heaps of stingrays. Oh yeah, look. Just over there. He's a big boy. Look how close he comes in. That's pretty cool. Hamlin 
Bay, cert spot for a stingray encounter. Pretty cool. Right, uh, stingray encounter tech. Didn't disappoint. There's plenty out there. Yeah, they're just incredible creatures. You could just stand, stand there and look at them all day. They're so majestic. Very good. Hey. Oh, it's quite the day. Mm. Caves were good. If you're into that, even if you're not, well, you weren't into it. But, um, oh, what's it? Once I got there, I had yeah. no idea what cave tour we were doing. Yeah, yeah. It's a dual cave. Pretty amazing. I asked the most questions. Mm. Go and check it out if you're in the area. Olive Hill Farm. Very nice place. Really cool place. So uh, we were just here for one night. Um, one night's all they could fit us in because they got us all on this hard base because they've had a fair bit of rain around and it's a bit boggy when you're not on the hard base and on the grass. So one night it is. And um, it's a beautiful place, absolutely beautiful. Camping amongst all the olive trees and um, yeah, had a nice fire and dinner with some friends last night that we've met on the road. So better pack up here and head on out of the Margaret River region. Been here for oh, about a week now. Done a heap of wineries, spent a heap of money, breweries, chocolate factories, all that sort of stuff. So it's an awesome region. Really loved our time here in the Margaret River. So it's time to move on. We're heading up to Bustleton today. So we'll show you that. All right. Well, good morning and welcome to the Bustleton foreshore. Out of a cruise around here, do the Bustleton jetty today. Uh, probably do a train trip and then a walk or something. I'm going to show you all around the foreshore. It's beautiful here. So yeah, check it out. on jetties but this is an amazing jetty biggest one biggest one. biggest one in the southern hemisphere yeah and yeah, yeah. But this is concrete <laughs> <laughs> the extension uh yeah took the easy ride tram mm. train Flavors are there? It's like 60. Well, we're at 
Simos. Simos, utterly delicious ice creamery. They've got a thousand flavours. And Letitia's got her two scoops in a cup. What'd you get, sweet up? A lot. <laughs> Chocolate mint and peach and mango swirl, which is good. Really, really good. I'm gonna have a sugar rush after this. Yeah, you are. So, we just did our next camp spot. This is Stockton Lake, just outside of Collie. Absolute cracking spot. Beautiful man-made lake. It was an, an old open-cut coal mine, and they, um, it's all full of fresh water now, and Quite a beautiful little spot, isn't it? It is. I'm not quite sure the blue's been captured in this, but it's crystal clear, turquoise blue, like bottom of pool blue. Yeah, it's amazing, crystal clear water. Hopefully it'll be warm enough to get in there and have a swim tomorrow. But, uh... We've got the sad looking fire going at the moment, and we'll get some dinner on and uh, probably put the drone up for some sunset photos I think. It's going to be mm. a cracker sunset yeah. over the lake. Or over, yeah it is a lake. Mm. They call it on a lake. So we've left um, Bustleton this morning. That was a nice three day stay. We pay, what was that? Stay? Stay three, pay two. That's right. It's worked out to be three of us all declared uh, for $101 which is so that pretty was good. nice. Bustledon's really nice. Well, plenty to do there. We did a couple of things and toured around. Didn't do, didn't do any filming there I don't think anyway. No, oh, apart from the jetty. jetty. But um... We didn't do much else really. It's nah. Inside a brewery. Yeah. Ice it was, creams. It was nice to just chill out at a caravan park. Pick that one because you know we were in the Marga River for so long and that was roughing it well not really roughing it but um, yeah the Mandalay Resort something or other had three pools one outdoor slide pool and then a heated outdoor pool and a heated indoor pool so really good Letitia loved it nice big play centre and we were there over the weekend, so it was full of um, Perth weekend warriors. So she had heaps of kids to play with, which was nice. Now we're sort of just ticky touring around the Collie area for a few days before we head back into or head into the Burbs. We're going to head up to our friends in Rockingham, Golden Bay slash Mandra. Yeah, and stay there for a couple of weeks and um, just reset, get a few things looked at, a couple of servicings and uh, catch up with some friends while we're there before we start punching out north of Perth into the really remote stuff and station stays and all that which we're super pumped about so that's going to be mm -hmm. awesome eh? Should be a lot more of this, a bit quieter stuff Yeah Although it's probably going to be busy But we didn't do much around, oh in Margaret River, you did a bit of filming but it was just uh, a budget blowout. Yeah, there wasn't much to do and oh, it wasn't much to film in Margaret River other than us going to wineries and breweries and getting on it. So, don't need to film all that stuff. But um, needless to say, the budget has been absolutely destroyed. So, um, we need to get back on track somehow. And I think we will once we move up to um, the city and we're we don't have to pay for any camping fees and we won't be lugging the caravan around so feel a bit different yeah mm. we had a, a good week before we'll have an okay week this week it's nice to find a cheaper grocery items today so that helped with the budget camping at $17 a day will help here mm. we're not doing anything else really yeah 
cruise a few days before we head back into the burbs. Anyway, we're going to cruise around, have a few, um, do a few touristy things tomorrow. Go and check out a dam wall that's got a big mural on it and some other things. So we'll show you that. Well, good morning. We're out um, tiki touring around today and we're at Mininup Pool, which is uh, 3Ks out of Collie. Really beautiful area, this uh, around Collie. Tisha's just having a flick, flicking oh. some plastics. Bit of a fish, we stopped here for a lunch break before we keep going on out to Wellington Dam. Beautiful day here. Great spot, loving Collie. Dad, buggy love doors. I just found buggy sponges. I just, I just, I just sucked. That's what that is. Anyway, here we are at Gnome's Door. There are just random paths everywhere. And if you go down one, it's just gnomes. Oh, there's a big gnome, Mum. Yeah, big ones, little ones. What do you think? Dinosaur. Yeah, look how quirky this is. Your life's not complete until you see a forest full of gnomes. Look, there's Snow White. Yeah, and her gnomes. Good idea of my mum's. Know. Okay, so now at Wellington Dam. So we've watched this mural be painted on line, and now here we are. Okay, the but yeah, so still touring around Collie Dam's worth a visit so far, from what we can see. Wellington Dam Mega Mural. Very, very impressive. It's much more impressive up here than it was down there. I like now the um, colour choices for these ones at the end seem to blend in with the rocks better. And down yeah. below they look a bit there. It is amazing. Morning. Well, we're out here, just up the road from the campsite in Collie. Still, just tra still travelling and touring around, and we've come to one of the biggest open-cut coal mines in the area. So check this out. goes all the way over there so this is one friggin big mine and there's three others in this area so a huge big coal seam running through here we're just going to check out the shovel that is a big 
Yeah, I'll read all about it, sweetheart. How good is this weather? Good morning from Wave Rock. Yeah, we just got in here this afternoon, set up. So now we're going to walk to the top of Wave Rock and do all the touristy things there. And then where are we going? The hippo's mouth. Yawn. Yawn. And then... Um, Head up to Salt Pools. The Salt Pool, which is all within a sort of a three to four K radius of the caravan park. So, oh, check it out. A little bit better than Pill Dapper Rock, I must admit. Alright, so the Wave Rock face done. Now we're gonna go walk to the top. There's a post for photos. Hippo's yawn. There it is. Now we're at Mulka Caves, which is the most significant Aboriginal art site in Western Australia. That's pretty cool. Wave Rock Salt Pool. Have a check as this. Sunset party. Woo! <laughs> right, and that wraps up our Southwest WA adventures, and we're heading into uh, back into Genpop, staying with some friends in Mandra and Rockingham, just south of Perth for a couple of weeks. Um, we're going to get um, some servicing done and some maintenance done, and visit some friends and all that sort of stuff. So. Really enjoyed the southwest region of WA, haven't we? Yeah, very good. We had no idea what to expect, did we? Well, uh, I certainly wasn't expecting.
will be good to catch up with some friends though. Yeah. What are you most excited about? Um, seeing a um, friend Hunter. Yeah, and what else? Leanne and Grace. Oh, yeah, that. And we're going to be able to get some retail done. I'm excited because I've got a spa treatment for Mother's Day. Oh, and that. And then yeah. I get my three day shopping thing. Yeah, so a bit of um, R&R, &R, get some stuff done, get everything back on track. So that's the end of this episode. Uh, thanks for watching. Yeah. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe at the bottom <laughs> <laughs> and hit that like button. I don't know what it does, but all the YouTubers say it, so whatever. Righto. Right. See you later. Uh, yeah.